And it looks like I have some sheep to steal. Yeah! Looney Tunes yeah! Sheep Raider, a game starring Ralph Wolf and also Sam Sheepdog. Your main goal of the game is to simply steal a sheep from the flock and get it to the extraction zone, the white circle. And that sounds simple, but it's, it's really not. I can honestly say this is one of the hardest games I've ever played through. And not difficulty hard, but like figuring out what to do hard. Or I'm just stupid, right? When I was playing this as a young man, I've only ever gotten to level two. Now there's a reason behind that. It was a PS1 demo disc. So until I was 20 and bought the whole game itself, I only had very good memories of it. So when I just played it this week, I learned that I was very wrong. Well, the game starts off very tame and straightforward. Just look at these beautiful landscapes, these waterfalls. A very calming atmosphere, I'd say. So Daffy goes over how to avoid the main obstacle of the game. That would be Sam Sheepdog. As you can see, he patrols over his flock with discipline and integrity. When you get close to him, you see this icon appear displaying the direction he's looking. If it's green, you're not in his area yet, but you're close. When it's orange, you gotta be quiet because he'll see you or he'll hear you. And if it's red, he's coming. And it's scary. We also meet Farmer Porky. I'm able to get Farmer Porky. And he gives us the lowdown on how to use lettuce. The sheep will follow a trail of it, or you if it's in your hand. To beat this level, all we gotta do is simply sneak up behind Sam, take a sheep, sneak away. Now we get across this drawbridge that only allows the weight of one person. So we use the lettuce technique, and we make a line of lettuce, and he follows it towards us. Very simple stuff, and we beat the first level. Oh, it is just a microphone. So I asked myself, how much more complicated can this get? Level 2 gives us a new element of stealth with the ability to hide in a bush. It's pretty easy, you just sneak in his area and when he looks over to you, just hide in the bush and he won't see you. He'll see a bush! <laughs> and you can just get right past him and that's it. The phantom perfume combo is a pretty straightforward technique. And then the rest is history. You running? Bring on level three, please. There's rocks now. Look at the size of those rocks. You hold the lettuce in your hand and have them follow you while you just hide behind the rocks. That is so easy, right? But now we're faced with the first predicament. There's a huge gap right here. And I only have a bungee cord, so I had to think for a minute. What if I connect the bungee to both trees and then use that resistance as a giant slingshot? And it worked perfectly. So simple, we need more of a challenge. Dressed as a forest elf, Daffy shows us the magical hypnotic flute with the one hint that it only works on certain characters. My first guess was this bowl just laying over in the leaves over here, but I was proven wrong very quickly. And that of course leaves only one other possible answer, Sam Sheepdog. So then I hypnotized him and he followed me over to this button where if you press it, it drops a rock on you. This is the only time you can actually physically hurt Sam. And he recovers quite fast, so you gotta be quick about it. As you carry the sheep, you hear him churning behind you and it's, it's just terrifying. I will admit this entire level took me 30 minutes. We move on to the first snow level and this is where they really turn up the heat. We gotta defuse bombs now. Bomb defuse. Other than that, you got Porky's lettuce technique, uh, some catapult adjustments, Yay. and that's pretty much it. But it also took me 30 minutes as well. I'd like to buy all your chocolate. Now, the frame started to really drop at this level, so it was really hard to play as is. The first problem I had was this red key looking thing. That's a metal detector, but I didn't know what it was. So not knowing how to use it, I blew up a couple times in the minefield, and eventually I figured it out and found my path. Now once you make it past, you gotta dress as a sheep wolf in sheep's clothing. This is one of my favorite mechanics of the game. You can just bleat to seduce the sheep to follow you. But now the final room hits you with a brain teaser. Knowledge. There's two gates, two buttons, and two blocks of ice. But only ice block A can press a button, and ice block B can only move vertically up and down. If I use ice block A to open the first gate, place sheep on ice block B, push said sheep forward, and jump on the button myself with good timing, I can open the second gate before the sheep gets there, and the sheep on the ice will get pushed to the gate, and I can grab the sheep and win. Pow. Oh! So like I said about frame drops, level 7 I played in slow motion basically, so it was pretty hard to even see what the hell was going on. Level 8 had me thinking about Stranger Things, you know? This is Stranger Things, if you don't know what that is. So at the beginning you're given a clock and a seed. But after some thinking, it became clear to me that the clock is a time portal that you activate to traverse the upside down. It took me some time to figure it out, but if you plant a seed in the nether, it grows a tree in the overworld that you can climb. You can also take monsters and bring them to the portal with you, where they essentially become powerless. <laughs> Farmer Porky's lettuce strategies once again prove flawless, and we're faced with a new problem. There's a bull in the way, and he loves the color red. You go through the portal, and hey, he's red, so one thing leads to another, and we finish. Level 9 introduces us to the little robot. Comes in the clutch in the near future. And to make a long story short, I shoved a whole bag of jelly beans. Use the robot as a distraction. Sam has some lettuce, but he got bear traps in it. And when he runs over to deal with the robot, you Mission Impossible style bungee down onto some onto some moss and extract the sheep 
flawlessly. It's a very nice exit. You just shoot up. It's that easy and you're done. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my... Moving on! Yay! Level 10 is when they really start saying... F you. After pulling the old honey bees trick on Sam here, you take the sheep into the castle where then the gossamer fight begins. I think that's how you pronounce his name. The only thing is, they give you no instructions on how to do it or what to even think to do. All you know is that he jumps and a little wave goes around. So, what you gotta do is this you gotta sprint around and make him fall. Once he falls, you get timer. And you gotta jump on these platforms to activate a light beam. And then repeat three times, with a third time being very time sensitive. And you gotta time it perfectly just to get the light on him. And then he falls, makes a bridge. You cross it, and you win. Listen, I was overwhelmed at this point. Daffy's bringing out schematics, and I, I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, God. Now level, <laughs> now level 12. There's ghosts. There's so much to digest here. You start off in a hedge maze with a bird's eye view. Pac-Man style ghosts that you can suck into your vacuum once you get adequate battery power. You get dropped a ghost costume and a decoy sheep for later use. Once through, you dance with the ghosts doing Guitar Hero style button timing. And now that you're through that, you have a sequence that goes like this. <laughs> Sam's in the jail yard just patrolling. You gotta launch a little guy in there for a covert operation, but don't get too close or he'll kick you. You gotta extract the lettuce and lure the sheep to the platform. Then me, Ralph, lifts the platform using this button. Using the little guy, you guide the sheep to the next button that opens this gate. Now you gotta drop a lettuce path outside the gate. A bunch of buttons were pressed and the sheep got out, so I think I was just lucky there. The ghosts worship the sheep, so you're locked in a cage when they take it from you. And while they're bowing down to it, you use the little guy to come in to save you by retrieving a gold key at the very top. I don't know why you would leave the key to exit near the cage. You gotta sneak over to the sheep shrine and pull the old switcheroo with a decoy sheep. This is when it comes in handy. Place it on the shrine, flip it around, and you can just leave. Simple as that. It's really not that simple. This took an hour. Oh god, level 13 and what a ride this has been. You gotta avoid another minefield with a metal detector. You gotta open the gate and also pick up the sheep decoy without blowing up. This happened way too many times. It was a very sensitive minefield. We gotta steal one sheep from Sam the sheepdog. And every 30 seconds I move my two sheep. If there is one too many or one is missing, I will attack everything in my zone. Sam. So very importantly, you need a bush. So you gotta enter the arena with the bush. So as soon as he picks up the sheep to move, you place the sheep decoy on the platform. This takes a few seconds because you gotta blow it up. And you gotta drop lettuce in between the two platforms to start the trail that the sheep will follow. Then you gotta activate this button that lowers the first platform. Let go of the button, jump on that platform, drop a piece of lettuce on that platform, put a piece of lettuce on the building attached to that platform, hop back in the stealth bush, sit on the button to raise the decoy sheep out of sight because remember, if he sees more than two, he'll kill me. So he comes back just in time. The sheep's gonna go onto the platform with the lettuce. Now he's sitting on the platform. Now he looks left to right, so when he's not looking, I hop off the button to raise the regular sheep up and the fake one down. So as he looks over to the platforms again, there's a fake sheep he believes is his own. So now he takes them both away, and the sheep that I got is safe. So once we have the sheep, we sail the seas to the pirate island. On that island, we dig up gold doubloons, and then lure Yosemite Sam out of his pirate ship, ooh, a piece of candy style, <laughs> into jail. And now he's locked up. This part was really fun. And then you finally use this cannon to launch the sheep into orbit. Uh, space, of course, not the gum. Oh, I may have lost my gold, but I still got my boat. Ah, uh, level 14, which is the final sheep level. I completely followed a walkthrough on this, by the way, but there's a train station. You gotta ride the train and get off at multiple stops. Then I raced the Roadrunner for some reason. I don't know what it got me, but I did it. Now, I think this is a glitch way to win, but this is how it went. You approach Sam wearing sheep gear. Thinking you're one of his, he snags you and brings you over to his area. You gotta let out a properly timed bleat to seduce the other sheep. And if you time it wrong, it gets you. This happened a lot. Now, if you run away and go down this hill, he kind of glitches out and just runs over Stop right to there, nowhere. Criminals. Then you can just walk right past him and win. And I was thankful to Jesus. Oh, Daffy then announces your victory. The last sheep! You did it! And out of nowhere, Marvin the Martian crashes through the ceiling. What's Marvin the Martian doing here? He needs help with non-sheep related activity because the sheep I shot into orbit messed up his groove. And to be honest, I was worn out at this point. I was playing for 10 hours, I was getting tired. I actually started playing the level and realized how long it was gonna take, so I ended it there. <laughs> So what are my overall thoughts on this game? This game is actually really hard to figure out. It seems a lot easier when I wrote it down, but just figuring it out was so hard. I literally feel smarter after playing it. Let me know down below if you played this game or if you had the troubles that I had while playing it, even as a 24 year old. Even just playing the first four levels, it's worth just giving it a try. Who doesn't like stealing? Well anyway, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and it looks like I got some sheep to steal.